Hey guys, welcome to a new guide video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to play Aatrox in the top lane. I build this sequence on this champion. We want to go for that Q Max first. Because that is our trading ability, our main damage tool, and then we go for E second for mobility and sustain. And then W last, which is our CC. In the laning phase, we want to start with a Q little one, guys. Um, it can be recasted twice, uh, it's going to deal more damage for each recast. What you want to focus on is hitting people with that sweet spot. So the sweet spot is at the edge, like here. It's basically going to deal more damage, but it will also knock people up. And another thing you want to look at is also the passive. So it will empower his next basic attack healing you for 100% of the damage dealt to champions and also deal damage based on health alright so now we have that E up um, it is a mobility spell but what we want to use it for is to extend the range of our Q's so normally it is pretty easy to dodge uh, Aatrox Q's uh, because it is so slow so people can pretty much just walk out of it, but if you time it with your Q, then it becomes a lot harder to dodge. So it can really be used to extend the range of your abilities. So even though we have pretty high cooldown early on, we still don't use any mana so we can spam our abilities but also be careful that you're not taking too much damage from the minions. Alright, so that ward actually helped us out. We might have lost the flash if we didn't ward right there. So this champion is considered a lane bully, but he needs some cooldown reduction first because, as you can see... Alright, down you go I guess. <laughs> as you can see, um, his cooldowns are really high and he has pretty low damage early on as well. So we want those CD items first, so we're gonna get the Kindle gem here. That is the first component we will be focusing on because it gives us 10% CDR and some health. And I'm not sure what Wally Bear was doing right there, but I'll take it. So your W guys, um, basically it's a uh, chain that will attach to the champion you hit. And if they stay within that box when it disappears, or the animation ends then they will get dragged back in so it's gonna help you to land those perfect sweet spot cues you really want to time it so when it's about to um, drag people back towards the center then you can time your cue so you get some perfect hits off no flash in this guy i don't know what he was thinking right there but it's a win for us so i'm not complaining just stacking up a wave here, so when we stack up this wave then there's zero chance of him trading with us and if we get ganked then we can turn it around cause minions deal a lot of damage early on. Alright, so we want to use that passive on the champions for now possible cause it's gonna give us the full healing. And uh... If you want your Q to come off cooldown faster, then just let the abilities expire guys. Just let the abilities expire because it will come off much faster than compared to if you just use all three casts. 
It is something that is unique to Aatrox. And a lot of people are making this mistake. Is that when they want to want it to come off cooldown, they just spam all three cards, and that's a really bad idea because it will take much longer. So we need these core items first before we can start destroying this guy. So basically the cleaver. And the death stance, then we will have enough cooldown reduction so we can just constantly spam our abilities. Onto that we have to chill, like really chill, and just poke this guy and if he somehow gets to low HP then we can all in him. So when we do have ultimate up, it's going to give us bonus movement speed, AD, and increased healing. We want to use that when we are going all in. When we know the opponent is low enough HP so we can just run him down. We want to zone them from the wave here. So get some nice hits in. Try to hit him with a passive if possible but it's not always. It's only going to heal you 25% from the minions but 100% against champions. Okay, alright, I got the flash out at least so that is something and the ultimate as well, just gonna ping it here. Alright, so the recall, we are ahead in CS, that's all we have to do. Because we really really need that cleaver against tanks so we can start shredding them, onto that it's going to be really hard. We got the teleport out as well. Kane is bottom side, so I need to watch out because I won't have help if the enemy jungler comes. I might have to play it a little passive at this point. Nice, team is doing good. Okay, Wallybear is bottom side, so we can go up now. Oh, wow. There we go. So the third Q is of course the highest damage you can get, so if you hit people at the center then it's going to deal a crazy amount of damage. Want to try for that. It's very rare though that people will actually stay still for you to hit it. Alright, we have a lot of gold. Wallabear is dead, so we can actually stay for a bit more here. So we can zone him off as much CS as possible. So we do have a small lead of 9 CS, but we can extend that if we stay in lane. Of course, even though your Q deals less damage to minions, It's still really useful tool to wave clear. There we go. And of course you can extend the range of your Q by flashing. And with E as well so you can combine all three. For some crazy range. We can just go for the plates here. He does not have teleport because he used it early on. Your E guys. It also works as an auto tag reset. Um, it's very rare that you use it as an auto reset unless you're pushing for objectives because normally you want to keep it to extend the range or reposition with the Qs and W. But in this case it is totally fine. I'm just gonna get the last plate here. Or the second one I mean. Then we can back off. Alright, let's get out of here. So we have a lot of gold, so we definitely need to base. Let's hope he doesn't stop our recall. Yeah, he is. 1 billion percent, alright, let's go over here then. He's actually, it's crazy how good his wave clear is, even though he's a tank. If I base right here, then he would just take the plate, so I am forced to stay. 
but I'm not sure why his fairy clear is so good. Interesting champion to say the least. Right. Now we can teleport back, so it doesn't matter if he's pushing and one shutting the waves. Remember guys, you don't want to build this item first. You want to get the Kindle gem and then the Coldfields Warhammer and now you can build towards the uh, Cleaver. You always want those CD items first. Because this champion is very reliant on cooldown reduction just like Vladimir is. I'm just gonna check here for control wards and help out our jungle here so we can get the herald. There you go, that should be enough. Then I can get back to lane here. He does have an Indian sub eyes, it's a bit annoying, but it doesn't matter that much against Aatrox because he's mostly ability based. So not really reducing his damage by that much. But it is still a really good buy. Whoa, are they, is he diving? Okay, he's trading, but... That means Orn is going to miss this here. So you're going to get a massive CS lead. Alright, I'm not letting him farm this for free. Alright, let's keep pushing. So we will have enough for the cleaver when we base. Okay, he's taking the other way around. Alright, he's not going for it. That's fine. So we can just clear this wave and then we can back off as well. Right, all is coming top as well, so we definitely need to get out of here. So we have enough for the cleaver. Once we have the cleaver, then we can easily fight the tanks. Oh, he really wanted to <laughs> cancel my base right there. Basing right there is also misplayed by me. I should have walked further behind because Good players would just have their jungler come top and then dive me at that spot. So definitely a mistake by me that they didn't punish properly. So if it were you guys, you should have went over here and then recall. They would have been much safer. Nice. That uh, enemy jungler is really struggling in this game. <laughs> Right, let's keep pushing Wally Bears down so we can pressure as much as we want to. We can 1 vs 2 at this point as well because now we are strong with the um, Cleaver. So we're gonna shred the tanks right now. I'm just gonna keep pressuring this guy. I'm gonna shove him under the tower all over and over. Because if you are really good, then you can also cancel his dash with your Qs, but it is very hard to time. Go, nice hit here. I don't really worry about tower hits, because I can sustain. Alright, let's keep pressuring this guy here and hopefully get the tower as well. He is very low HP also. Wait for him to use that dash. There we go. Nice. He's going to base now. Oh, he should be basing because he's very low HP. Yeah, he's staying, huh? That's very risky. He does have his ultimate up, so I need to take that into account.
Okay, on. Oh, that was so close. I just barely missed that one. I can flash him though. There we go. I should not have missed that uh, Q at the end right there. That was really bad. That was such a bad play by me. Okay, our friend is top again, so let's just get out of here. Yeah. As you can see, it is much easier when you have the cleaver, um, especially against tanks. Onto that, then you're really going to struggle quite a bit. Now we can go for the Aegis here, so you get MR and armor, so it's good against everyone in the game. We just head back to lane here. We don't want to use the other teleport um, to get back to, into lane because we could use that to flank the other laners. Like if they put a deep ward here, then I could teleport. Or I could even use it to counter gank. So if you want to save this one if possible. So now is when it starts becoming more fun playing this champion when you have all that CDR. We have 30% right now. We can spam our abilities much more often and really pressure the opponent. So this is where Aatrox starts spiking. This big big power spike. So this is where you want to take all the game as well. We should be able we should flank this guy. Nice. He should be the Okay, I tried to steal that one. <laughs> Alright, cool. So we're gonna get this tower top side. Remember to hit. Put these sweet spots on your queue so you can push as fast as possible. Get this tower as well. We almost have enough for the death stance. Now we do have enough, and that is the biggest power spike on Aatrox, that two item power spike. Alright, I'm down to fight. He is very fast though. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm dead here for sure. Got the flash out somehow, so... And the ultimate. I don't know why uh, he was topside, but it's fine. Nice. They're getting the bot tower, so they're doing the right thing right here. When they see the ADC topside, they are punishing on the other side of the map. And that is what you should be doing. Now we have the core items here, the death stance gives pretty much everything you need on this champion. Sustain, damage, resistances and most importantly CDR. So you are extremely tanky right now and you're gonna heal for a lot, especially if they don't have executioners or bramble vest. Then it becomes very hard for them to burst you down. I can teleport here, but I'm going to wait a bit, see how many there are there, because if it's only these guys, then they're going to win either way, so... I'm just gonna walk down still. Yeah, they're still winning, so I'm not really teleporting. That would have been a waste if I teleported. I'm gonna push this wave here so we can take some objectives. Want to play for objectives, that's what's really important. He does not have flash up, so that should be a kill. Maybe not. That's really close though. Okay, there we go. Nice. I don't want to tank the tower, so I'm just waiting behind. 
gonna take the tower down first here. Now we can join. Go, let's put them down. Go for this Vladimir as well. Nice, awesome. It's a really good team fight. Just important that you're really patient and don't just rush in. Keep in mind what kind of CC abilities they have. And what they could do to stop you and wait it out and then you can go in. Like imagine I went in much earlier right there. I would get on altered and then I would just end up dying for no reason. Oh well. I'm not sure if we can help him out. Let's try. Okay, this guy is done so, huh. So guys we have a lot of damage right now all right who's spawning so we have the ADC and support coming in so we need to back off right now we got enough more than our, than enough actually Let's just get out of here. So we got the bottom side right now, the inhibitor, so we don't want to be bought anymore. We actually have a decent amount of CC, so we're gonna go, go for the mercs here. Next item will be this one. So this is gonna help us become even tankier and harder to burst down while also increasing the damage output. So that's gonna help us frontline. We just need to go mid right now. Normally you want to be in the side lane, but there's a very high chance of people getting caught out in solo queue, so a lot of time it's just better to be grouped up, especially if you're stronger. Okay, that's a fight going on. We should join it. Okay, uh, Kane is in the top side, so we need to watch out for that as well. <laughs> well, Welp. Interesting ultimate for sure. I'm healing for a lot. Oh, he did not use his ultimate, that's not good. You see how hard it is to burst me down? I'm actually dead here, I think. Yeah, dear. I misclicked my Q for some reason. I could have played this better also. But he's gonna clean up, so that's fine. But the thing is you're going to heal a lot because of your E passive here. Heals you for 30% of the damage dealt to champions and then you have the distance as well. It's just going to heal you for 50% of the damage dealt and of course a little bit less on your AoE spells. But you have a lot of healing, crazy amount. But he does have the Bramble Vest so he can reduce it. But we don't really have to auto attack this guy so... It is not as effective as executioners would be. Oh, he has MR, so he's dead for sure. He's itemizing against our echo, but... We have three other carries on the team. Nice, and this game does look like it is done so. I'm gonna teleport here. We can end the game. Okay, he's not going to kill me like that. I am way too fit for that. Okay, got the flash out. 
nice there we go let's go for the end here they are spawning but we should be able to we do have a minion wave coming in wow they have a lot of cc that's why you need the max we get this guy so he can defend Oh, this is very risky I need to get out of here guys all right it is ended anyways that was the Aatrox guide so I do hope this was helpful see ya in the next one